Okay, here I am with this top again, and I have it on my mannequin, as see here. And we've got several problems we've got to fix. And one of them is the most glaring is this third boob up here. So let's fix that right now. This is really fairly straightforward. Uh, I'm just gonna actually the fabric will tell you what to do. All you have to do is just listen. And uh, in this case, I can tell that all I need is to take it in a little bit all the way around here. Um, I want to tell you one of the problems you're going to have with your mannequin is you're going to want to fit skin tight to it and don't. If you've done a good, cho a good job of fitting to your mannequin, then your mannequin is going to be real close to your body shape. So that means that um, your own body shape. That means there's no ease built into it. And if there's one thing American women are famous for, it's ease in their clothes. Basically, what's causing all those ripples, as you can see, is the pin, are the pins in there. But that's going to take care of that. Okay, the next thing I want to do, you want to always make sure you're seated well on the mannequin, which means your center front is good, you're on your shoulders, and everything is in good, good place. Uh, I am, and one of the things I want to do here is I want to mark my bust points. Now, it just so happens that one of my busts is lower than the other for a variety of different reasons, but at any rate, um, there it is. But... I'm going to make my bust points even because even though this one's just a tad lower I don't want this one pointing down like this and this one pointing because that will just exacerbate the situation so uh, unless your busts are just really really different I recommend that when you get ready to do a fitting on your mannequin you keep your bust point even on the garment even though your bust point may be different on the mannequin and by the way when you're fitting your mannequin you want to make sure that your uh, you've, you've captured that bust I have one that's a little bit fuller and one that's a little bit lower and I've captured that in this mannequin so that when I get ready to fit to it I can I can uh, see that when I'm getting ready to fit okay um, over here I want you to notice something because this is real important. Can you see how this thing is moving around? Can you see this right here? This screams one thing. It screams right... It screams uh, front bust dart. And see what happens when I lift this side up? What I'm going to do, if you can see, is I'm going to lift the side up more than this. And look what happens right there. There it is. It's out. So, what does that mean? I don't want to get too technical about this, but I do want to explain this, because this is a, one of the first class wrinkles for a front bust start. It's sitting and hanging wrong. It's hanging at an angle. And if it were hanging more properly, then it wouldn't have that funny hokey, uh, hokey, uh, uh, this wrinkle in it right here. That means this side over here needs to be shorter than this side. So remember when I went like this? Basically what I'm doing is I'm making this shorter. And how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that with, a, I'm going to take a pinch on the side here. And lo and behold, we have a front bust dart. Now sometimes this can show up up here. There'll be a baggy, loopy area right here. But in this particular example, it shows up right here. The other thing I want to make sure I do is I want to make sure 
that I'm aiming right at my bust point. See my pin right here? So this is aiming just a little above, so I want to make sure I'm aiming right at above, uh, right at my bust point. I also want the dart to end at the right place. And what that means is that I want it to, I don't want it to end over here. That's that Madonna Jean-Paul Gaultier look, and we don't like that. <laughs> or, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's a look for you, and that's okay. But, um... Most of the time, we don't want that. Now, if you're having to take a really super duper big hunk out of here, that's going to look a little like a cone, and it's going to look sharp. It's better to take two darts here instead of one big one. In other words, if I was taking just a big, huge hunk out, like, like an inch out here, it's not going to... It's not going to hang right. Now look at what happens. Where's that wrinkle? It's gone. Okay. So I'm going to do that on the other side here. And basically what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm coming in at the same angle. 